It is April 25th. My 23rd birthday was two days ago, and it's become a tradition every year at some time around my birthday to try and do my age in miles, and we're gonna see how long I can keep that up. My goal is to make it past 70, uh, at which point my friend Zach said he would give me his life, his retirement savings, uh, if I can actually pull that off. So um, there's a big financial incentive on the line. But generally speaking, uh, I just need to get in a good long run for uh, Loco, go big or go home, 100K up in Forest Ranch near my hometown. This run is not going to be very verty. It's going to be 11 and a half miles out and 11 and a half miles back on a rolling dirt road. I expect somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 feet of vert, which is okay because that's kind of on par with the race that I'm going to be doing which is about 6,000 feet of vert over the course of 62 miles. I'm a little tired because I spent all day yesterday in the field digging holes for seismometers and that was exhausting. And my colleagues asked what I was planning on doing today and I told them 23 miles and they think, I think they thought I was insane. But I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I just need to get outside and do some stretching. Uh, I always get these runs started a little bit late. That's just the way long run days go by the time you stuff everything in your bag probably brought way too much food and water, but it is gonna be 23 miles unsupported. So it'll be a heavy pack in the beginning and then uh, might lighten up towards the end. All right, gonna get going. Don't wanna waste any more time. Four miles into this run, surrounded by desert beauty, and so far, things are going quite well. I don't want to jinx it, but things are looking good. I'm at about 5.7 miles, which means I'm about halfway to the turnaround. And in some ways, I kind of like doing out and backs because I can sort of mind trick myself into thinking the run is only half as long. And I'm halfway there. When in reality, I'm a quarter of the way there. I'm at 10 miles in about 90 minutes. About to eat my third birthday cake gel. I bought a 24 pack of birthday cake gels and that's the only variety I have. So the question is, at what gel am I sick of birthday cake gel? 12, 16, or maybe I'll get through the whole thing. Hard to know. did actually catch those gravel cyclists who were either taking a break or gearing up to turn around. And there's nothing more gratifying than catching cyclists while running. I'm at 11.2 just about to turn around. Should end up being about 16 or 1700 feet of vert by the end of this run. Still feeling okay, starting to get a little tight in the muscles, but the real crux of the biscuit isn't gonna be until the second half when it's starting to get hot and the miles 
miles are adding up. All right, at about 15, just did a bottle swap, some reorganizing, and uh, unfortunately, forgot to start my watch again for like a quarter mile, which means I'm gonna have to make that up because I need to have evidence that I did this if I want to take Zach's retirement money. Seventeen. I feel pretty good, but I would definitely say that things are start, starting to get a little spicy. But should have about three miles, actually about four, of rolling slash slightly uphill coming up, followed by two miles of downhill. So get through the next four, then we're coasting. Right, I'm at about 20 miles. I'm tired, but I'm feeling like this is manageable. Very manageable. And the views in this section are very nice. Okay, one mile to go. It's starting to feel a little worse for the wear. Some sore muscles and the side cramp, but we're gonna get there. I've completed 23, but because of my little watch mishap, I have to do another quarter mile so it shows up on the watch. <sighs> Almost done. All right, that's that. 23 miles, three hours and 37 minutes, 1,700 feet of climbing. Uh, now in a very warm car. And it's time to go home and drink some cold water and take a shower and call it a day. Thanks for following.